chapter 8, Luke chapter 8. Women accompanying Jesus. And it came to pass afterward that he went throughout every city and village, preaching and suing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him. And certain women which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils. And Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod, Stuart, and Susanna, and many others which ministered unto him of their substance. The parable of the sower. And when much people were gathered together and were come to him out of every city, he spoke by a parable. A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. And some fell upon a rock, and as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. And other fell on good ground and sprung up, and bare fruit an hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, He that had ears to hear, let them hear. The purpose of the par parables. And his disciples asked him, saying, What might this parable be? And he said, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to others in parables that seeing might they might not see, and hearing they might not understand. Now the, the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are they that hear. Then come at the devil, and take it away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. They on the rock are they which, when they hear, receive the words, the word of, with joy. And these have no root, which for a while believe, and in time of temptation fall away. And that which fell among thorns are they which when they have heard go forth are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life and bring no fruit to perfection but that on the good ground are they which in an honest and good heart having heart heard the word keep it and bring forth fruit with patience a lamp under a jar. No man, when he had lighted a candle, covered it with a vessel, or put it under a bed, but set it on a candlestick, that they which enter in may see the light. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Take heed, therefore, how ye hear. For whosoever had to him shall be given, and whosoever had not from him shall be taken, even that which he seemed to have. Jesus' mother and Jesus' mother and brothers. Then came to him his mother and his brethren, and could not come at him for the press. And it was told by a certain which said, Thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to see thee. And he answered and said unto them, My mother and my brethren are these which hear the word of God and do it. Jesus calms a storm. Now it came to pass on a certain day that he went into a ship with his disciples, and he had unto them, Let us go over unto the other side of the lake. And they launched forth, 
But as they sailed, he fell asleep, and there came down a storm of wind on the lake, and they were filled with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him and woke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water, and they ceased. There was a calm. And he said unto them, Where is your faith? And they, being afraid, wondered, saying one to another, What manner of man is this? For he commanded even the wind and water, and they obey him. Jesus heals a man with a demon. And they arrived at the country of the Gatherings, which is over against Galilee. And when, <coughs> and when he, <coughs> he went forth to land, there met him out of the city a certain man, which had devils long time, and wore no clothes, neither abode in any house, but in the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he cried out and fell down before him. And with a loud voice said, What have I do to do with Jesus, with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God, most high? I beseech thee, torment me not. <coughs> For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For oftentimes it had caught him, and he was kept bound with chains and in feathers, and he broke <coughs> the bands and was driven out of the devil into the wilderness. And Jesus asked him, saying, What is thy name? And he said, Legion, because many devils were entered into him. And they besought him that he would not command them to go out into the deep. And there was there a herd of many swine feeding on the mountain. And they besought him that he would suffer them to enter into them. And he suffered them. Then went the devils out of the man and entered into the swine. And the herd ran violently down a steep place into the lake and were, and were choked. When they that fed them, saw that was done. They fled and went and told it in the city and in the country. Then they went out to see what was done and came to Jesus and found the man out of whom the devils were departed, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed in his right mind, and they were afraid. They also which saw it told them by what means he that was possessed of the devils was healed. Then the whole multitude of the country of the Garnes, Garnes round about besought him to depart from them, for they were taken with great fear. And he went up into the ship and returned back again. Now the man out of whom the devils were departed besought him that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to thine own house and show how great things God had done unto thee. And he went his way and published throughout the whole, whole city. How great things Jesus had done unto him. Jesus heals a woman and Jairus' daughter. And it came to pass that when Jesus was returned, the people gladly received him, for they were all waiting for him. And behold, there came a man named Jairus, and he was a ruler of the synagogue. And he fell down at Jesus' feet and besought him that he would come into his house. For he had one only daughter, about twelve years of age, and she lay a dying.
But as he went, the people thronged him. And a woman having an issue of blood twelve years, which had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed by any of any, came behind him and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her issue of blood strength. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude gone three and pressed thee, and sayest thou, who touched me? And Jesus said, Somebody had touched me, for I perceived that virtue is gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him, and how she was healed immediately. And he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith had made thee whole. Go in peace. While ye yet spoke, there cometh one from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying to him, Thy daughter is dead, trouble not the master. But when Jesus heard it, he answered him, saying, Fear not, believe only, and she shall be made whole. And when he came into the house, he suffered no man to go in, save Peter and James and John, and the father and the mother of the maiden. And all wept and bewailed her. But he said, Weep not, Jesus, she, no, weep not, she is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn, knowing that she was dead, that he put them all out and took her by the hand, and called, saying, Maid, arise. And her spirit came again. And she arose straightway, and he commanded to give her meat. And her parents were astonished, but he charged them that they should tell no man that what was done. Chapter, Luke chapter 9 Jesus sends out the twelve apostles. Then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. And he said unto them, Take nothing for your journey, neither staves nor scrip, neither bread, neither money, neither two coats apiece, and whatsoever house ye enter into, there abide and thence depart. And whoever will not receive you when you go out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them. And they departed and went through the towns, preaching the gospel and healing everywhere where Herod is perplexed by Jesus. Now Herod the Tetrarch, Tet, Tetrarch heard of all that was done by him, and he was perplexed because that is what said of some, that John was risen from the dead, and some and of some, that Eli had appeared and of others, and that one of the old prophets was risen again. And Herod said, John, have I beheaded? I beheaded. But who is this, of whom I hear such things? And he desired to see him. Jesus feeds the five thousand. And the apostles, when they were returned, told him all that they had done. And he took them and went aside privately into a desert place belonging to the city called Bethsaida. And the people, when they knew it, followed him. 
And he received them and spoke unto them of the kingdom of God and healed them that had need of healing. And when the day began to wear away, then came the twelve and said unto them, Him, send the multitude away, that they may go into the town and country round about and lodge and get victuals, for we are here in a desert place. But he said unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they said, We have no more but five loaves and two fishes, except we should go and buy meat for all his people. For they were about five thousand men. And he said to his disciples, Make them sit down by fifties in a company. And, and they did so, and made them all sit down. Then he took the five loaves and the two fishes, and looking up to heaven, he blessed them and broke and gave to the disciples to set before the multitude. And they did eat and were all filled. And there was taken up a fragment that remained it to them twelve baskets. Peter confesses Jesus as the Christ. And it came to pass as he was alone praying. He disciples were with him, and he asked them, saying, Whom say the people that I am? And they answering said, John the Baptist. But some say Eliza, and others say that one of the old prophets is risen again. Is risen again. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Peter answering said, The Christ of God. Jesus foretells his death, and he straightly charged them and commanded them to tell no man that thing, saying, The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be slain and be raised the third day. Take up your cross and follow Jesus. And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. For what is a man advantage if he gain the whole world and lose himself or be cast away? For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and my words of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he shall come in his own glory and in his father's and the holy angels. But I tell you of a truth, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the kingdom of God, the transfiguration. And it came to pass about in eight days after these sayings, he took Peter and John and James and went up into a mountain to pray. And, it, and as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered, and his remnant was white and glistering. And behold, there talked with him two men, which were Moses and Eliza, who appeared in glory and spoke of his disease which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. But Peter and they that were with him were heavy with sleep. And when they were awake, they saw his glory and the two men that stood with him. And it came to pass as they departed from him, Peter said unto Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here, and let us make three tabernacles, one for thee, and one for Moses, and one for Elijah. 
not knowing what he said. While he thus spoke, there came a cloud and overshadowed them, and they feared as they entered into the cloud. And there came a voice out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved Son, hear him. And when the voice was past, Jesus was found alone, and they kept it close and told no man. In those days any of these things which they had seen. Jesus heals a boy with an unclean spirit. And it came to pass that on the next day, when they were come down from the hill, much people met him. And behold, a man of the company crying out, cried out, saying, Master, I beseech thee, look upon my son, for he is mine only child. And lo, a spirit taken him, and he suddenly cried out, and teared him that he vomit again, and bruising him hardly departed from him. And I besought thy, thy disciples to cast him out, and they could not. And Jesus answering said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you and suffer you? Bring thy son hither. And as he was yet a coming, the devil threw him down and tear him. And Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit and healed the child and delivered him again to his father. Jesus again foretells his death. And they were all amazed at the mighty God, power of God. But while they wondered, everyone, at all things which Jesus did, he said unto his disciples, Let these sayings sink down into your ears, for the Son of Man shall be delivered into the hands of men. But they understood not this saying, and it was hid from them, that they perceived it not, and they feared to ask him of that saying, Who is the greatest? Then there arose a reasoning among them, which of them should be greatest? And Jesus, perceiving the thought of their heart, took a child and set him by him, and said unto him, Whosoever shall receive this child, in my name received it me, and whosoever shall receive me received it him that sent me. For he that is least among you all, the same shall be great. Anyone not against us is for us. And John answered and said, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name, and we forbid him, because he followed not with us. And Jesus said unto him, Forbid him not, for he that is not against us is for us. A Samaritan village rejects Jesus. And it came to pass, when the time was come, that he should be received up. He steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem, and sent messengers before his face. And they went and entered into a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him. And they did not receive him because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. And when his disciples James and John saw this, they said, Lord, wilt thou that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them even as Elijah did? But he turned and rebuked them, and said, Ye know not what manner of spirit ye are of? For the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And they went to another village, the cost of following Jesus. And it came to pass that as they went in the way of a certain man, said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee whithersoever thou growest. And Jesus said unto him, Foxes have holes, 
and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man had not where to lay his head. And he said unto another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Jesus said unto him, Let the dead bury their dead, but go through and preach the kingdom of God. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. And Jesus said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow, and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Luke chapter 10 Jesus sends out the 72. After these things the Lord appointed other 70 also, and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place, whither he himself would come. Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Go your ways, behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. Carry neither purse nor scrip nor shoes, and salute no man by the way. And, to, and unto, into whatsoever house ye enter, first say, Peace be to this house. And if the Son of Peace be there, your peace shall rest upon it. If not, it shall turn to you again. And in that same house remain, eating and drinking such things as they give. For the laborer is worthy of his hire. Go not from house to house. And into whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you, eat such things as are set before you. And heal the sick that are therein, and say unto them, The kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. But into whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you not, go your ways out of the, into the street of the same, and say, Even the very dust of your city, which cleave it on us, we do wipe off against you. Notwithstanding, be sure of this, that the kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. But I say unto you, that it shall be more tolerable in the day of Sodom than for that, for, than for that city. Woe to unrepentant cities. Woe unto thee, Chorazin. Woe unto thee, Bethsaida. For if the mighty works had been done in Tyre and Sidon, which have been done in you, they have, they had had a great while ago repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it shall be more tolerable for Tyra and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And then Capernaum, which are exalted to heaven, salt be thrust down to hell. He that heareth you hear it me. And he that despiseth you despiseth me, and he that despiseth me despiseth him that sent me. Return of the seventy-two. And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, The Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give you, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this rejoice not, that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice, because your names are written in heaven. Jesus rejoices in the Father's will. In that hour, Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, 
I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and has revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seems good in thy sight. All things are delivered to me of my Father, and no man knoweth who the Son is but the Father, and who the Father is but the Son, and he to whom the Son will reveal him. And he turned him unto his disciples, and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things that ye see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. The Parable of the Good Samaritan And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said unto him, What is written in the law? How readest thou? And he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with the, all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thyself, and, all, and thy neighbor as thyself. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right, this do, and thou shalt live. But he, willing to justify himself, said unto Jesus, And whom is my neighbor? And Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his remnant, and wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And likewise a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him, and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him, and went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. And on the morrow, when he departed, he took out two pence and gave them to the host and said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Which now of these three thinkest thou was neighbor unto him, that fell among the thieves? And he said, He that showed mercy on him. Then said Jesus into him, unto him, Go and do thou likewise. Martha and Mary, now it came to pass as they went that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house, and she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about much serving, and came to him and said, Lord, those thou not care that my sister had left me to serve alone, Bid her, therefore, that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful. And Mary had chosen that good part which shall not be taken away from her. Chapter, Luke chapter 11, the Lord's Prayer. And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he seized one of his disciples, said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, 
as John also taught his disciples. And he said unto them, When ye pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, how will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as it is heaven, so it is earth. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And he said unto them, Which of you shall have a friend, and shall go unto him at midnight, and say unto him, Friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine in his journey is come to me, and I have nothing to set before him. And he from within shall answer and say, Trouble me not, the door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give thee. I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him, because he is his friend, yet because of his import importunity, he will rise and give him as many as he needed. And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh it, receive it, and he that seeketh it, find it. And to him that knock it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If yes, then being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children. How much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Jesus and Bezabal. And he was casting out a devil, and it was dumb. And it came to pass, when the devil was gone out, the dumb spoke, and the people wondered. But some of them said he casted out devils throughout through Beelzebub, the chief of the devils. And others tempting him sought of him a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said unto him, dumb, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought into desolation, and a house divided against a house followed. If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because ye say that I cast out devils throughout Beelzebub. And if I by Beelzebub cast out devils, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore shall they be your judges, but if I, with the finger of God, cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God is upon you. With a strong man armed, keep it his palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor, wherein he trusted and divided his spoils. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathered not with me scattered. Return of an unclean spirit. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. He said, I will return unto my house whence I came out. And when he cometh, he findeth swept and garnished. Then goeth he and taketh to him seven other spirits, more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there, and the last state of that man is worse than the first. True blessedness. And it came to pass, as he spoke these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bare thee and the paps which thou hast sucked. But he said, Yes, rather blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. The sign of Jonah. And when the people were gathered thick together, he began to say, This is an evil generation. They seek a sign, and there shall no sign be given it, 
but the sign of Jonas the prophet. For as Jonas was a sign unto the Ninevites, so shall also the Son of Man be to this generation. The Queen of the South shall rise up in the judgment with the men of this generation and condemn them, for she came from the utmost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. The men of Ninevite shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonas, and beheld, behold, a greater than Jonas is here. Delight in you. No man, when he had lighted a candle, put it in a secret place, neither under a bushel, but on a candlestick, that they which come in may see the light. The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thy eye is single, thy whole body also is full of light. But when thine eye is evil, thy body also is full of darkness. Take heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness. If thy whole body, therefore, be full of light, having no part dark, the whole shall be full of light. As when the bright shining of a candle doth give thee light. Woes to the Pharisees and lawyers. And as he spoke, a certain Pharisee besought him to dine with him. And he went in and sat down to meet. And when the Pharisee saw it, he marveled that the Lord not first washed before dinner. And the Lord said unto him, now do ye Pharisees make clean the outside of the cup and the platter, but your inward part is full of ravening and wickedness. Ye fools did not ye that made that which is without make that which is within also, but rather give alms of such things ye as ye have, and behold, all things are clean unto you. But woe unto you, Pharisees, for ye dyed mint and rue and all manner of herbs, and pass over judgment. And the love of God, these ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Woe unto you, Pharisees, for ye love the uppermost seats in the synagogues and greetings in the markets. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are as graves which appear not, and the men that walk over them are not aware of them. Then answered one of the lawyers and said unto him, Master, thus saying, thou reproachest us also. And he said, Woe unto you also, ye lawyers, for ye laid men with burdens grievous to be born, and ye yourselves touch not the burden with one of your fingers. Woe unto you, for ye build the sculptures of the prophets, and your fathers killed them. Truly ye bear witness that ye allow the deeds of your fathers, for they indeed killed them, and ye build their sculptures. Therefore also said the wisdom of God, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they shall slay and persecute that the blood of all the prophets which shall, was shed from the foundation of the world may be required of this generation. From the blood of Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, which perished between the altars, and the temple, verily I say unto you, it shall be required of this generation. Woe unto you, lawyers, for ye have taken away the key of knowledge. Ye entered not in yourselves, and dumb that were entering in ye hindered. And as he said these things unto them, the scribes and the Pharisees began to urge him vehemently and to provoke him to speak of many things, laying wait for him and seeking to catch something out of his mouth that they might accuse him.
Luke chapter 12. Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. In the meantime, when there were gathered together in innumerable multitude of people, in so much that they trod one upon another, he began to say unto his disciples, first of all, Beware ye of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear in closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetop. Have no fear. And I say unto you, my friend, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him, which after he had killed the, had power to cast into hell. Yes, I say unto you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two farthings? And not, and not one of them is forgotten before God. But even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Acknowledge Christ before men. Also I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of God. But he that denied me before men shall be denied before the angels of God. And whosoever shall speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But unto him that blasphemy against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven. And when they bring you into the synagogues and unto the magistrates and powers, take ye no thought how or what things ye shall answer, or what ye shall say, for the Holy Ghost shall teach you in the same hour what ye ought to say. The Parable of the Rich Fool And one of the company said unto him, Master, speak to my brother, that he divide the inheritance with me. And he said unto him, Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? And he said unto him, Dumb, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisted not in the abundance of the things which he possesses. And he spoke a parable unto him, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentiful. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, because I have no room where to bestow my fruits? And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater, and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much good laid up for many years. Take thy ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose shall those things be, which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself, and is not rich toward God. Do not, do not be anxious. And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body, what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than remnant. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowl? And which of you, with, with taking thought, can add to his stature one cubit? If ye then be not able to do that thing which is least, why take ye heed? thought for the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They toil not, they spin not, and yet I say unto you, 
that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothed the, gla the grass, which is to <coughs> today in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? And seek not ye have ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink. Neither be ye of doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after. And your father knoweth that you have need of these things. But rather seek the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell that ye shall have had, and give alms. Provide yourselves bags which lack not old. A treasure in the heaven that faileth not, where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupteth. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. You must be ready. Let your loins be girded about and your light burning, and ye yourselves like unto men that wait for the Lord, when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself and make them sit down to me, and will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants. And this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. But ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh at the hour when ye think not. Then Peter said unto him, Lord, speakest thou his, this parable unto us, or even to all? And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward? who his Lord shall make ruler over his household, to give them their portion of meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Of a truth I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all he that he had. But and if that servant say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to beat the men, servant, and maiden, and to eat and drink, and to be drunken. The Lord of the servant shall will come in the day, when he looketh not for him, and at the uh, an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him in under, and will appoint him to his portion with the unbelievers. And that servant which knew his lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given of him shall be much required, and to whom men have committed much of him they will ask the more. Not peace, but division. I come to send fire on the earth. And what will I, if uh, it be already kindled? But I have a baptism to be baptized with. And how am I straightened till it be accomplished? Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay but rather division. For from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided, three against two and two against three. 
The father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father, and the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Interpreting the time. And he said also to the people, When ye see a cloud rise out of the west, straight away ye say, There cometh a shower, and so it is. And when ye see the south wind blow, ye say, There will be a heat, and it come to pass. Ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it that ye do not discern this time? Settle with your accuser. Yes, and why even of yourselves judge ye not what is right? When thou goest with thine adversary to the magistrate, as thou art in the way, give diligence that thou mayest be delivered from him, lest he hail thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and the officer cast thee into prison. I tell thee, thou shalt not depart thence, till thou hast paid the very last might. Luke chapter 13 Repent or perish There were pre present at the, that season some that told him of the Galilean, Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Jesus answering said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans, because they suffered such things. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Or those eighteen upon whom the tower in Shilom fell and slew them, think ye that they were sinners above all men, that dwell in Jerusalem? I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. The parable of the barren fig tree. He spoke also this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came and sought fruit thereon, and found none. Then said he unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on his fig tree, and find none. Cut it down. Why cumbereth it the ground? And he, and he answering said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it, and dung it. And, and if it bear fruit, well, and if not, then after that, Thou shalt cut it down. A woman with a disabling spirit. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity eighteen years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him. And said unto her, Woman, thou art loosened from thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. And the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation, because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day, and said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to work. And them. therefore come and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. The Lord then answered him and said, Do hypocrite, doth not each one of you on the Sabbath lose his ox or his ass from the stall and lead him away to watering? And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, who, whom Satan had bound, Lo, these 18 years be loosened from his bond on the Sabbath day. And when he had said these things, 
all his adversaries were ashamed. And all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. The mustard seed and the leaven. Then said he, Unto what is the kingdom of God alike? And whereunto shall I resemble it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and cast into his garden. And it grew and waxed a great tree, and the fowls of the air lodged in the branches of it. And again he said, Whereunto shall I liken the kingdom of God? It is like leaven, which a woman took hid in three measures of meal, till the whole was leavened, the narrow door. And he went through the cities and villages, teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem. Then said one unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, Strive to enter in that straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter it in, and shall not be able. When once the master of the house is risen up, and had shut to the door, and ye began to stand without, and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us, and he shall never, a and he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not whence ye are. Then shall ye begin to say, We have eaten and drunk in thy presence, and thou hast taught in our streets. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not whence ye are. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, when ye shall see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves trust out. And they shall come from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south and shall sit down in the kingdom of God. And behold, there are last which shall be first and there are first which shall be last. Lament over Jerusalem. The same day there came certain of the Pharisees saying unto him, Get thee out and depart hence for Herod will kill thee. And he said unto them, Go ye and tell the fox, Behold, I cast out devils, and I do cures today and tomorrow, and the third day I shall be perfected. Perfected, perfected. Nevertheless, I must walk today and tomorrow and the day following, for it cannot be a prophet perish out of Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which killest the prophets, and stonest them that are sent unto thee. How often would I have gathered thy children together, as a hen doth gather her broad under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate, and verily I say unto you, ye shall not see me until the time come when ye shall say, Blessed is he, that cometh in the name of the Lord.
Thank you.